hello dear friends welcome back to my channel so today i want to discuss some passing hacks passing strategy for uh, this uh, particular subject that is the fluid mechanics which is considered as uh, one of the toughest subject as far as mechanical engineering is, engineering is concerned over there it is also the subject of the civil engineering okay so it is subject code is 21 me 43 this is for the 21 scheme students who are under the, uh, st uh, who are studying under the vtu so uh, let me tell you what are the passing modules were there which you have to tackle and i will tell you s uh, some of the topics uh, which are very important in as far as examination point of view is concerned as most of the students are fearing about the subject and they are struggling that how to pass this particular subject so let me tell you uh, friends uh, first of all you have to go through the module fourth uh, it contains two chapters were there first one is uh, flow or flow over bodies uh, and second one is the dimensional analysis part so first of uh, all this part uh, first chapter is a little bit tougher one over there so you have to go through this dimensional analysis in which you have to cover uh, what are the derived quantities and uh, most important question which i call the super important question in this particular module is buckingham's pi theorem and also you have to try uh, two or three problems i can say uh, so that you will easily tackle the problems on this particular uh, Buckingham's Pi theorem over there. Okay, so this is the definite question over there. You have to uh, derive this uh, Buckingham's Pi theorem and also try some problems on this. And uh, what are the dimensional dimensionless numbers? Uh, and uh, next one is the dimensional homogeneity. And uh, sometimes they will ask you what uh, what is the dimensional homogeneity and law of uh, and sometimes law of dimensional homogeneity okay so no need to worry about that it is a very simple concept over there and next one is the similitude and types of similitude okay so these are the concepts which you have to cover in this uh, module fourth and it is uh, as the uh, syllabus is washed over there so just focus on this uh, second chapter that is dimensional analysis which is a very easy part over there they will give sometimes 10 10 marks question one will be buckingham's by theorem and uh, they will give problem also 10 marks over there okay so focus on this part as it is a simple one over there then we will come to the model fifth which also contains two chapters over there uh, one is the compressible flows and uh, next one is the introduction to cfd uh, this uh, it is according to your own choice uh, whichever is convenient for you according to me uh, the syllabus is less in the cfd part okay cfd part consists of what is the necessity of cfd what is uh, what are the limitations of the cfd and philosophy behind cfd and uh, its application so these four concepts are just in the second chapter that is introduction to cfd if you want to go through uh, this particular part you can go through but uh, one question will be mixing over there that is expression for stagnation pressure it is actually the part of this uh, compressible flow but they are asking it in the second part uh, second part over there that is our part they will ask uh, what are the necessities of cfd and uh, expression for stagnation pressure okay so uh, sometimes they will ask you okay, what are the applications of cfd and this question will be there okay and sometimes problem but um, most probably they are asking this uh, particular question in the second part okay in the first part you have to cover if you are convenient with this first part or there you have to focus on the mach number what is mach number what are subsonic flows sup uh, supersonic flow and what are mach oh sorry i have two times written here the mach number it is mach angle actually okay so mach angle and mach cone and these are the definitions which you have to cover in the first part and uh, what uh, define isothermal and adiabatic uh, adiabatic process during expansion or exp uh, compression of perfect gas over there this is the second question in the first part and also velocity of sound wave in a fluid you have to derive uh, equation for this uh, velocity of a sound wave in a fluid so this much content is enough uh, to cover the module fifth my dear friends uh, if you are worrying about this uh, subject so just focus on these topics only you will easily uh, conquer at least uh, 10 to 12 or 15 marks i can see from the module fifth okay and then module second comes up uh, it also consists of two chapters that is fluid dynamics and bernoulli's equation uh, i have um, 
taken some important questions from these uh, from this particular module which are very important one you just go through definitely they will uh, come in the examination if you focus so first of all uh, derive Euler's equation of motion along a stream line and state and deduce Bernoulli's equation for fluid flow mention its assumptions it will be 12 marks question over there my dear friends this is super important question as far as module uh, 2 is concerned okay 12 marks they will definitely ask this question over there that is uh, uh, derive Euler's equation and also deduce the Bernoulli's equation and you have to write some assumptions for this next one is derive equation for discharge of fluid through the pipe using the following devices you have to derive equations for the devices uh, like a venturi meter and orifice meter also uh, rectangular notches are over there but most probably they are asking uh, uh, this uh, discharge of a fluid through this venturi meter and orifice meter uh, this is also a 10 marks question over there sometimes 8 marks question okay you have to focus on this also it is a super important question and also uh, you just try problems on this venturi meter and orifice meter when you derive the equation obviously you will uh, you will be able to write down the given data and also you will get the concepts how to tackle the problems over there okay so these are the very simple problems uh, on the venturi meter and orifice meter over there so the, uh, these two questions are the super important ones in this particular module you don't have to leave these so uh, you have to be serious in this matter over here the next one is uh, what is the darcy wedgeback equation or a fluid flow through a pipe it is also a definite question over there so these three questions are definite uh, but this uh, darcy wedgeback equation will be in the or part and uh, problems will be on the pitted tubes and rectangular notches over there so uh, most probably you have to go through these two questions which will be in the first part over there and try some theory uh, try to cover some theory over there okay next one is the module first uh, in which you have to cover some definitions like uh, specific weight specific gravity mass density dynamic visco uh, viscosity and kinematic viscosity capillarity and surface tension these eight definitions are most important as far as model first is concerned as lot of syllabus is there in the model first so cover these uh, definitions at least you will get 10 marks and try some you have to go through problems otherwise uh, it is very difficult to cover uh, what we call uh, 20 marks in this particular module only by theory it is not possible to cover okay so you have to try some problems like uh, find the dynamic viscosity of oil here uh, the questions will be like that find the dynamic viscosity of oil and properties will be given accordingly okay so you, first of all you have to write down the given data then accordingly you have to find out the dynamic viscosity of the oil okay then uh, module sorry, module 3 comes up okay model 3 you have to focus fully my dear friends as it contains less syllabus over there so just focus on laminar and turbulent flow as per syllabus flow through circular pipe between parallel pellets voicely equation and loss of head due to friction uh, in the pipes and major and minor losses pipes in series and parallel so this is the module which contains less syllabus over there so just focus on these uh, particular topics so that you will easily conquer this subject so my dear friends uh, only by this much content you will score also uh, in this uh, subject which is considered as toughest subject okay so this much uh, this much content is enough uh, if you are just focusing on so let's crack it i hope you will do it thank you for watching my video